for years, we continue to have people reach out about um, how, how much they can't stand it, how they'd like to do something about it. Now, it's a sound that you'll hear quite a lot after a snowfall in Calgary, but there's some concerns that come with it. There's a push to ban gas powered leaf blowers in Calgary due to the noise and air pollution that they cause. And while there are some alternatives out there, like electric ones, experts say they just don't get the job done quite right. So this is the lowest setting of the electric one. So you can see that uh, that the gas one pretty much cleans it up. The difference in performance is quite clear and there's still some significant noise when using an electric blower at full power. Now, if you hit the turbo button, And if you're using the turbo, your battery's going to be uh, worn out. Then there's the added cost to factor in for a landscaping company. When we had to use batteries. There's only uh, a few brands to choose from on the market that are kind of commercial grade. And you're, you're, you're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But in this day and age, it might be time to think a little more carefully about how a leaf blower impacts the environment and pollution concerns are a main reason why this petition is gaining steam. Because they're so cheap and lightweight, uh, they don't have the same emissions control or uh, um, things like a catalytic converter that you would find in any new vehicle from the last 20 years in them, and so they cause uh, much more pollution. Something that's also being explored elsewhere, including strict noise bylaws in places like Vancouver and an outright ban on them in California over the next couple of years. Because even though a gas blower uses only a few liters of fuel, they aren't extremely efficient. Being woken up at four or five in the morning because someone's blowing snowflakes off the sidewalk um, is, is, pretty, is pretty ridiculous. Almost 2,000 people have signed on to the petition so far, but landscapers will continue using them for now. And if you're really fed up, you could always just clear the snow the old-fashioned way. In Calgary, Tom Ross, City News.